good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to some extra sloppy slot for the second channel. Do you feel like time is a constantly evolving thing? Do you feel as though that your age is constantly going forwards and yet your precedent of feeling like you are no longer hip with what the kids call groovy is growing day by day? I do too. No, made no worse by the fact that I was recently found out the Left 4 Dead is about 15 years old. And that's Left 4 Dead 2. So what better way to really reinforce our midlife crisis that's inevitably going to happen than watching somebody play a game that's 15 years old that you remember originally coming out. And not to make that worse, World of Warcraft is now 20 years old. <laughs> Russian Badger always gives a good laugh, no matter how old it is. Always relevant, always funny, always a good watch. And honestly, having been playing Dark Tide recently, I have an itch for community and squad based games so this would be great for not only for a sound trip but for also just to have a bit of a giggle at russian badger's nonsense because there's never a bad russian badger video so, let's sit back relax and let's get this and it's muted Whoa, Opera GX. Moment. Put the gnome away, Master Chief. You don't need it. You don't uh, need okay. it. Okay, a little bit of a little bit of context. A little bit of context. A little bit of context. Um, I used to play this game so much. I think this might still be one of the games I have the most time in before Dark Tide. And this Dark Tide feels such like a modern version of this. I and the fact that this game is still so heavily played now is astounding. Like this game still has a massive community app behind it. And you want to know why? The modding. I, have, I don't think there's any game out there where you can simultaneously play as Barney the Dinosaur, Woody from Toy Story, Buzz Lightyear, and My Little po Ponies whilst fighting off hordes of Shreks. It is truly the gamer's game. And I distinctively remember trying to do that stupid achievement where you've got to try and take the uh, little gnome from the first mission all the way to the end. That at the at that time was my crowning achievement in gaming also this game now has Im has an Im immense amount of fan service mods for it so i can't exactly doubt it thank you for the gift of sub as well nuba it is stupid let's see what russian badge has to say finish the fight. so there there are certain games again there are certain games that resonate with sh with absolute nonsensical personalities this game enables you to be the biggest freaking gremlin. So if you ever want a suggestion for how to make good content, find a game that allows you to embrace the truest of gremlins within you. As our Lord and Savior Russian Badger is so poignantly depicting. Stupid achievement. Let him finish the fight. Emmy, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Speaking of gremlins! Is that the Master oh Chief? Oh my god, is that canon? That the Arkham Knight saved Master Chief <laughs> Elmo? You know what? Yeah, no, I, I distinctively remember that's how Halo went. Yeah, Halo 1, you play as Master Chief trying to stop Gandalf from uh, killing Princess Peach, and then you've got to blow up the one ring, and then you've got to escape using Killer from Escape from Tarkov's RPG. And once you've done that, you then end up in Heart Halo 2, where as Master Chief, you're then fighting against the invasion of Elmo with your companion Batman of the future. Yeah, no, I, this is this is exactly how I remember it. What are you guys talking about? Are you guys crazy? Are you okay? Do you need a hug? Is, the, is, is this threat of existential midlife crisis really hitting you that hard that you don't remember the story of the original Left 4 Dead game? Yeah, no, this is, exactly, this is how it went. I remember. Carrying a gnome for the achievement? That's like the worst YouTube clickbait <laughs> I could ever imagine. Clickbait? I don't know who clickbait Master is. Chief from Elmo in front of Shrek while carrying <laughs> gnomes? Not clickbait? Gone Not wild. clickbait for realsies. <laughs> Sponsored by Rage Shadow Legends? <laughs> Buy a Ridge uh, Wallet? I love these guys. Source, I'm stuck. Welcome to the greatest horde shooter ever, Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, you know what? I think I read that. But, okay, Th one of them. One of them. There are definitely other good horde shooters out there. But at the time, at the time, this was definitely peak horde shooter gameplay. Nowadays, you've got Payday, albeit Payday, the new Payday is a little bit crap. Um, 
you know, Dark Tide is very obviously out there. Uh, oh, Back for Blood, dude. Back for Blood was made by the people who made this, and they friggin' dropped the ball hard. I was hoping Back for Blood would be amazing, and it's still okay if you're for a playthrough and casual, but there's no reason to keep playing it. It's barely moddable. The game's kind of clunky. The balancing is all over the place, and nobody gives a goddamn. The fact that people went, the fact that people used Back for Blood as an excuse to play more Left 4 Dead 2 was a telling sign how bad that game was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one again. Welcome to the second greatest horde shooter ever, Left 4 Dead 2. A game that usually starts like, yeah, shooting zombies with guns is fun. And you uh, back when Valve like put out a game every other year. Yoshi with a Smith and Wesson 500. <laughs> I'll admit that my dumb shit characterization of the game might be a little deranged <laughs> given the number of mods I run. Left 4 Dead but 2 is a game where so Otis fun. from Barnyard kills Dallas and Bates. If it was just the game by itself, it wouldn't, la it wouldn't have lasted. I, I, will, I will stand by my sentiment. I will stand by my sentiment. Any game ever will always have more replayability and a more intrinsic community when you allow modding. When you allow your community to add these kind of monstrosities to the game, you are allowing for your viewership's creativity. You prevent viewer apathy. You give people a reason to keep playing. Because every time a new mod comes out for your game, people will go back in to play through the entire game again with that mod. Oh, what's that? You, you play through the game by default? Well, what if I were to tell you that you could play through the game as your favorite anime waifu with their fat fucking tits out with also big footicocks? Because that's a mod. Likewise with... Uh, Monster Hunter World, much like with a lot of games out there, the modding scene is what makes it. Think of The Witcher, think of Skyrim. Would Skyrim even be here now if the modders hadn't fixed the game for Bethesda? Think about it. Mods ever made. Stop fucking shoving me, you prick. Played games are always a win. Oh, sorry, mods are always a win. Skip prom to grind Sigma male level players. Don't care. Fuck you, Catherine. Prom probably sucked anyway. I was grinding left for days. <laughs> Very valid reason. <laughs> I'd love I didn't to tell you about Guys, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I did not go to prom because it was on a raid night for World of Warcraft. <laughs> I was too busy raiding Ice Crown Citadel to go to prom. Dude, you're our, you're our main tank. You're the raid leader. You can't go to prom. We got to get those epics. Yo, if you raid Ice Crown Citadel, maybe later you can raid my fucking <laughs> hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to tell you about Left 4 Dead 2. You gotta explain this to the world, Badger. Just before we I mean, get into what? things, thank you to- Alright, that that, that's given- that, I just realized that's really not helping me with my midlife existential crisis. Because now I'm realizing that my prom was 20 years ago. No, 16 years ago. Yes, yeah, oh my god, I'm old. I even got asked out by a really cute boy! Opera GX for sponsoring this video. The world's first gaming web browser that's so awesome it makes you want to explore. You see, unlike other web browsers that steal your computer's RAM and resources, give me your RAM. Get away from me, you goddamn D. It has GX control that allows you to limit how much RAM hey guys, and bandwidth you should using, get so Opera and GX. It is in fact a browser. Lee doesn't set your computer on fire. And unlike other browsers that flashbang you with white backgrounds every time you open them. Yeah. My eyes! I can't see! I can't see how cringy my community are! Page, so you won't have to visit the eye doctor anymore. Though he is a pretty cool guy. <laughs> it's even got dank integration. Like yes! We got a TF2 meme! Instant victory! Player for your favorite music. Yavul, man, commandant! Ha! Oh, so, so anyway, when the patient woke up, he, he found his skeleton was missing! Ah, and, the, and when he woke up, his, his, his skeleton was missing, and the doctor was never heard from again! Uh, anyway, that was how I lost my medical license. Music service, Twitch to see when your favorite streamers are live, and like Discord me. for anybody sliding and or stampeding into your DMs. <laughs> I know change is hard, but Opera makes it easy with quick. Yo guys, wanna slide into my DMs and tell me how like fat my fucking password is? Over from Chrome and even a mobile version for syncing files, videos, and links. <laughs> Download Opera GX via the link below and get my very own custom color theme and background so you can browse and I game like I can make never my before. own theme I'm for no Opera, actually. Up, but that sounds like, like imagine if every time you press a button, you just get a. That was way too organic of a moan. 
I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> Two is a game where four survivors of a zombie apocalypse rushing to catch a helicopter evac are you- Oh yeah, I forget there's actually a story in Left 4 Dead. By the fact we have an astronaut, Master Chief, and Batman, I completely forgot that there's an original cast of characters in this. <laughs> I did love as well, I did love how at one point in, in, in Left 4 Dead 2 you have the crossover with the original cast. Friggin' oh. Can we get an F in the chat for Bill? At least they cameoed him in Dead by Daylight. You guessed it. Oh shit. Uh, left I send. Dead. Yes, left for dead. Hey, we're still here. Hey. I thought they were supposed to be getting us out of this shit. Okay, helicopters don't come back. I also cannot watch videos like this about games from Valve, considering the amount of memes that I have seen of these characters. Like in my mind. Nick, Coach, and Ellis, and Rochelle, Billy, uh, and the characters from the first game, um, those guys don't exist as Left 4 Dead characters. They exist, in my mind, as memes from machinima such as these. I, I cannot, I cannot see these characters in a serious way. If I ever go back and play Left 4 Dead, this is what I'm thinking about. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, but we're not here to look at those stupid memes. Unless, yes. Back when you yell He's, at him. This is this is where you you remember. This is where these characters came from. Grab a weapon and follow me. This goddamn building's on fire. Which means fighting your way out in search of a new salvation is your only option. Whether that be a busted ass boat, the military, or maybe even another helicopter. Look like oh, a dude. Okay, I can't believe we're actually going to talk about the law of Left 4 Dead. But isn't it a thing that, if I remember correctly. The entire th reason why these guys are impervious most of the time, uh, the cast from the first game and the cast from the second game, the entire reason that they are impervious is because they are spreaders. Like, everywhere they go, people around them get infected. I, I think I remember reading a comic somewhere where that's kind of like a thing. Like, I can't remember, I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I remember there was like a comic that kind of explained why these guys are so good at fighting off the horde into the mall across town. helicopter it is a helicopter you call that thing a whirly bird one more time i'll beat you so bad your sister's gonna wish she never gave birth to you oh my god that turned me on immensely <laughs> nice insult um i also cannot get over the fact that they clearly designed this guy after early 2000s nick cage Early bird, one more time, I'll beat you so bad, your sister's gonna wish she never gave birth to you. Obviously, this isn't a dream team of zombie killers, but at least you've got Coach, the dependable positive one that's always ready to get a cheeseburger or give some words of encouragement. Come on now, let's just get through this shit. Rochelle, the news I'd do anything for cheeseburger. Friendly and considerate cloth, who's probably the greatest woman on earth, because she's probably- If they made a Left 4 Dead 3, I feel as though they would make three women characters. Because we live in a society. Or even that, there'd be two female, two male. I don't know. It probably, it probably would. Because you notice, like, the first game was three guys, one, one, one girl. Second game was three guys, one girl. I can almost guarantee you, the if they ever made a third Left 4 Dead, if they did, they would probably change that up. Not the Valve Cat 3 to begin with. Left on Earth. Hey, I'm here. Ellis the mechanic is a storytelling youngster that most people find. Rochelle also stupid, was the most forgettable character from this entire naive, cast. I say Every other character in Left 4 Dead 2 just a car? was so That's charismatic. Like Rochelle was like plywood shit, the like entire game. Jimmy Gibbs is just a driver. That's like saying the girl on the bridge is just a little pretty. <laughs> you know, like... like, think about it, right? Think about it. Think about the main cast from uh, Left 4 Dead. Uh, Bill, Billy, was the veteran, the grizzled, cynical veteran. Lewis was the accountant black guy with Riz. Uh, the girl, the girl, I can't remember the name of the girl from the first one. Oh, I can't remember her name. Um, the girl from Left 4 Dead 1 was the ponytail girl. 
But she was also bad. Yeah, Zoe, 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 Zoe. Zoe from Left Dead 1, she was a badass. She was the sporty girl. She was the one who had witty quips. And then, uh, Francis? Francis hated everything. I hate stairs. I hate tables. But you know what I don't hate? I don't hate vests. And then you get Left 4 Dead 2. You get the Nick guy. The friggin' egotistical, friggin' big-headed dude. You got, uh, Ellis, the hillbilly mama. The, 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 the grabbing and dreveling. Uh, friggin' coach. The sassy black guy, dad figure. And then Rochelle. What do you remember Rochelle for? What was her notable character trait? Four. Huh. Can't think of any, can you? <laughs> Best about your stories, Alice? The sound they make when they stop. And of course, Nick. Hi, Bob. Former con man gambler. Right, Seth, tiny, have a good buddy. Sarcastic and never Bye. impressed by anything ever. But don't let his harsh demeanor fool you, because underneath that fistful of rings and $3,000 suit, He's a real piece of shit. That's great. I run into the three people in Georgia not carrying a gun. With these four, you'll be fighting your way through the South after every possible lifeline that can save you, including helicopters, boats, and... Also, bridges. just to point out, this is not a zombie apocalypse. This is just everyday Florida. <laughs> I should know. I've been there. Plenty of safe rooms along the way. I'm telling you for the last goddamn time, lower the goddamn bridge. You greasy vest <laughs> wearing monkey. And if you really want to get fucking fancy pants tacked, we don't have time for this shit. All right, fine. So, how does a reasonable story like this suddenly involve goofy, unrelated shit like shooting Yoshi mods, with a mods, 500 mods. Magnum or Iron Man whipping out a Glock 19? I'd still like to think that when Iron Man runs out of all munitions, he just pulls out a Glock 19. <laughs> <laughs> Basically just mods, but if we're getting technical, the workshop. Because Get if you're an horde shooter, it would take a shit ton of work to swap out one of the main characters for someone like. I think that is kind of one of those, right? The Steam Workshop might very well be the most innovative thing that was ever added in the early days of gaming. Like back back in the good old days, there wasn't really much way many ways of putting your own content into games. Like Skyrim, Oblivion kind of gave you that ability, but it was around this time with Left 4 Dead 2, that modding really came into the mainstream. And I think it's because of things like Left 4 Dead, uh, Left 4 Dead 1, Left 4 Dead 2, uh, Team Fortress 2. Most of the Valve games were the reason we have as much innovation in the modding scene as we do now. Arthur Morgan? Oh, yeah, just the fact that Rochelle oh, yeah. is Oh like my god. Arthur <laughs> Morgan. Where's our money? I don't speak German either. Everybody gangsta till Arthur Morgan start fanning Thanos. <laughs> Thanos is gonna have to snap three cigars cigars times for the mini Morgan. Up, <laughs> but since this is a Valve game on the Source engine, it has access to this wonderful thing called the Workshop, which allows you to add maps, mm -hmm. weapons, characters, or any other mod you want. Hell, the model I'm wearing right now is from the Source Filmmaker Workshop, and so yep. is this, and so is this. You want both your Which, fists to suddenly turn- funnily enough, is how Russian Badger, Badger makes all, made all of his early videos. And it goes to you, you don't need to have a massive mocap suit to uh, be able to make funny videos. This kind of stuff is all public source. This is all open source. You could make this right now. All it requires is a couple bits of software and to learn some animation some fundamentals. And I love that. Anybody could make stuff like this into loaves of bread, bang, straight off the workshop. And I'm not going to say that everything on the workshop is a good idea, but <clears> god <throat> damn it, is it ever frictionless to equip? Why the fuck would you want Hitomi from Dead or Alive 5 as Francis? <sighs> do I really have to show you why? Do I, do I really have to lower myself? To explain why people would prefer Rochelle or Hitomi over Francis. I mean, it's so fucking obvious. Guys, come on. Come come on. Come on, guys. It's 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 the belly button. It's it's obviously the belly button. Why why else would you like who are you gonna take more seriously? The belly button? Somebody who is so confident in a zombie apocalypse that they're willing to show skin 
or the dude that looks like he's one step away from joining the KKK. I'm just saying. You're either correct or you're wrong. So, yeah. Smile. <laughs> and once you start clicking this button, you can't stop clicking this button. With Rochelle, Coach, Ellis, and Nick transforming into Pickless Cage, Battletoad, Doom Slayer, and Isaac Clark before you know it. I'm on my nefarious shit. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be green. You must be green. Oh my to be god. In this squad. What am I? I'm, I'm, I'm oh my code. god. That is a low down and a half. Speech. You're welcome, citizen. <laughs> I think you get the mod situation now. Me click green button, me turn thing that looks like this into thing that looks like this. Fucking brilliant. Let's move on. And all of a sudden, like Rochelle this, became twice as memorable. All of a sudden. You now have a reason to play Rochelle. <laughs> looks like this. Fucking brilliant. Let's move on to the bad guys. Because no matter what they look like, and no matter what you look like, you're still gonna need to kill them if you hope to survive. Your cloaker. Same argument that's had the oh, Skibbity Toilet. It's all iconography. Oh, God, Zombies. Skibbity Toilets. Uh, mutated apocalyptic they are skeletons. All the time. And I know a Just kill. Zombie isn't scary, Just kill. Just per kill. And per campaign. I don't care if it's cheeseburgers, coaches, or regular ass plain Jane zombies, a thousand of almost anything is terrifying. Hamburgers? <laughs> 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 Hello, yes, Gabe Newell. I would like to turn your game into a fucking hodgepodge of whatever I think of. Fuck out of my way, coach. You too, Shrek. My <laughs> friend, the coach. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> coach is one weakness other than chainsaws. The coach heard you had a, had a cheeseburger <laughs> with extra fries. Because unlike basic ass regular zombies that are dumber than dirt, these guys can pin you. And please, Games Workshop, please, 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 don't sue me for making this joke. But uh, brother, I am pinned here. This means at no point is there a time where it is not appropriate to make a brother. I am pinned here. It is always appropriate. Always. That once they've grabbed a hold of you, they aren't letting go until either a teammate saves you or you're down on the ground bleeding to death. And although all four special infected do the same thing, they've each got a unique I would technique. say that's something that uh, Back for Blood did slightly better. That jingle? I happen to prefer the piano version myself. <laughs> that means a hunter is nearby, a hoodie wearing Superman that can leap over buildings and into your rib cage in a single bound. He's by far my favorite. <laughs> Scary, I know. That scream still fills me with dread. Even in this day and age, even after probably about five years of having not played this game, that scream fills me with that that makes a shiver run up my spine. That was a that was horror as a child. And I guess it must be pretty a pretty uh powerful noise because that scream. The, in fact, the amount of noises and sound effects that have been used in uh, big budget movies because they're too morally bankrupt to make their own sound folly, folly is, is astounding. I, I've, heard, I've heard the hunter scream in so many horror movies. Likewise with um, some of the other noises from this game as well. No, oh, but he's super squishy and loves making loud noises before and during his jump. <laughs> So no matter if it's a cloaker, Elmo, Kermit the Frog, or Chucky, e. <laughs> Kermit the coming. Frog. Bam. Oh my I God, that's so watch scary. Watch I got this, bro. Watch this. Good no one. Problems. Good one. <laughs> bro, I've been up and down long all game. My Wait, God. they got the Doom guy with them? How is this ever a problem? Like, duh. This, you know, what? knowing that the Doom guy is there completely recontextualizes the entire thing. This isn't a zombie apocalypse. This is just. A nice little outing. This is a this is just a Tuesday for the Doom guy. Like fighting off an entire invasion of zombies. Nothing. By comparison to everything else he does. He tickled that Elmo. It's a stroll in the park. Oh, God, literally. I'm die alone, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh my! <laughs> Thanks, Spider-Man from PlayStation One. <laughs> <laughs> It's Charles Entertainment. They haven't even talked about the uh, smutty mods for the game. Cheese, oh shit! Oh, 
god! Carlson! Oh, no! Get, 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 get me off of Siren Head! Is that Siren Head? head? Thanks, Batman. You too, Sanic. You really are a true friend. That's not my meme. That's Oscar on Twitter. He calls him Charles Entertainment Cheese instead of Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Bro, it is Charleston Entertainment Cheese the third. The first brother died in the war. Put some respect <laughs> on his name. It's Charles Entertainment Cheese. You want to know why Heavenly Father's so good at comedy? Improv. Heavenly Father can take any prompt and turn it into an entire comedy fest and run with it. The guy is legitimately a comedic genius. Jeez, I'm gonna melee you. And to oh boot, he's God, unhinged as fuck, so. <laughs> I am a genius. Oh no. The smoker is far less intimidating, which may explain why I've got hours of badass hunter footage and like 10 seconds of smoker footage. <laughs> <laughs> you see, even his joke Oh, Meryl from Metal Gear Solid 4. You absolute badass. Well, sucks, but I guess that fits because slurping is sort of his thing. Little buzz, thank you for that raid. No, I'm getting smoked. No, 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 Bing, Bing, right click me, right click me. Smoke, no, it's, it's, it's Japanese Spider Man. Welcome, welcome, Lil Buzz. Appreciate the raid, dude. How's your stream? Spider Man from Never Stop. It's literally the meme of the T Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the meme. Get <laughs> Fuck a duck. Come on, you see, I'm trying to record here. Thank you very much, though, Dragoon, for the tier three. Oh, in the fuck did it not break All right, the uh, You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a little timestamp in here just to uh, remind myself in editing to edit this last little bit out. <laughs> so, uh, everyone be quiet. Everyone be quiet. We need 10 seconds of silence. Oh. Fuck's sake. Couldn't even manage 10 seconds. Uh, note to myself in editing. Edit out this entire last section. Edit out, edit out before the raid. Are you listening to me in editing? Are you listening? If this doesn't get edited out, this is going to be so fucking awkward. <laughs> More in your face. This Jockey is the greatest thing that I have ever like seen. Get ranked. Out of everything that's on the internet, this is the best thing. Note to self in editing. Edit out this bit as well, please. Think a little more in your face. Jockeys will hop on your back and ride you like sea. Oh, these little bastards. I remember they put this into Left 4 Dead 2 and they were the most obnoxious thing. There was also a great mod for these things that turned them into actual. That, that gave them a massive floppy. Make them the green goblin. You're <laughs> boring me, Spider Man. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I love it. I'll get you, Spider-Man. I'll get you next time, Spider-Man. Siege veterans are beating their meat with right arms the size of tree trunks, ready to rock you like a freight train and smash you in a ground chuck once they come to a stop. Your teammates aren't safe either because even if he's grabbing somebody else, he can still truck other survivors backwards. Oh shit! He's he's I, I only just now noticed, all? but they're using an M uh, M3 super. My favorite kind of shotgun. Off a ledge what do you say using the stock for one? Bridge. So it's best to avoid his hummel, like what I would do to a sandwich if I really wanted to get it. Man, I fast. could pummel you know, sandwich. I don't right. actually pummel sandwiches. Badger's like a wood chipper for fucking <laughs> Somewhere the heavy is <laughs> listening to you eat all those sandwiches. Is that Donkey Kong? I got him. I come into a room, I see an illuminated doge face on Donkey Kong. Beating the meat off of me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, you're off the bridge, Spider-Man! Oh Only in the Left 4 Dead universe. Is that a SpongeBob character? Oh, dude, okay, okay. Let's talk about the let's talk about the uh the tank for a second. Can we can we all just squarely point out that anytime you heard this. You knew shit was about to go down. And the fact that it didn't just spawn on top of you. This is one of the most uh, recognizable and iconic soundtracks to ever kick in at any given time. Because the thing is, you would never know when this would kick in. At any moment, you could be going through a map and all of a sudden...
Yeah, and think about how much fun you could have with modding that. You could literally put in the anything. You could edit it in so instead of uh, the tank, it was like Raiden, and you'd have the rules of nature. The rules of nature! And you, either way, you know you're fucked. <laughs> That was scary as shit. These four pinning special infected are supported by boomers. These bile filled Whoa, boom boomers. Ready to vomit all over you ah, yes, boomers. Which death. the entirety of society would shamelessly copy and plagiarize and five years later. Target for a horde of zombies. So if you happen to see Otis from Barnyard, <laughs> make sure you blast his ass from a distance. <laughs> oh my god! We got a Otis. boomer! Show yourself, you coward. Uh oh. Set you on fire. Uh oh. We got a boomer! Points at you. <laughs> okay, boomer. You have an M4 Asimov. <laughs> Otis, come back here. He Otis. <laughs> I killed him with a Minwear Asimov M4, as God intended. Hearing the dozens of boomer voice lines from the survivors in our modern political climate never gets old. <laughs> this game truly was ahead of its time. We got a boomer. Oh, man. <laughs> That sounds like a boomer. <laughs> Dude, I need to get these sound bites put into the stream. Like I, I need to I need to have like a soundboard with uh look out, we got a boomer. Okay, boomer. Well, leave it alone. Just leave look it alone. It. Just look it. Leave it alone. Just like being at the zoo. Oh it's an exhibit. What? We have it for you. About around to go. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, yes, the one intrinsically right. chaotically minded troll in the group has always God won. You can't just put Otis from Barnyard on the other side of some glass <laughs> and a Smith and Wesson 500 bone crusher in my hands and not expect me to blow his True. True. Dude, if I have an RS12 in my hand, literally a 50 cal handgun. And you put something that's gonna go when I shoot it. <laughs> spitters are the other supporting special infected that No, spitters are quitters. Please spit Mountain Dew Molotovs and noxious acid at you that are definitely difficult to hear, but have appropriate the most reaction memorable for the tune. average coach main. And they also have a tendency to crash my game anytime I try to mod them. So for some weird reason, you were specifically excited about me blasting was, uh... spitters in the mouth. I'm pretty sure I've that was just endemic of. Everything Valve made back in the day. Like, if you were playing a Valve game and you didn't expect your computer to crash at least once, I don't know what to tell you. Four specials that can pin you, supported by two specials that can impair you, are rounded out by two boss special infected that are on opposite ends of the spectrum. The witch is a teeny tiny crying oh, woman witch. that can insta down you if you disturb Dude, her with no damage. Dude, no shot. I was watching a horror movie one time, and it was one of these like really cliche, uh, sort of paranormal ghost girl type ones. And I shit you not, I can't remember the name of it. I shit you not, halfway through the movie, the ghost girl turns up and they didn't even be, they couldn't even be bothered to record their own voice. They unironically just used the ghost cry from this in this AAA movie. And I'm like, dude, every gamer out there that's worth their salt is pissed at you now. Light or even prolonged eye contact. So either nuke her ass into oblivion with a flurry of damage or completely leave her alone. Wanna watch me fucking crown this witch real quick, man? Yes, yes I'll turn my flashlight off. <laughs> what is that? Father. Ain't no thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's horrifying. Okay, you ready? You ready? Oh, oh, or just. Wow. Wow, you just cut her in half. I can't believe that Arkham Knight just cut off Donald Duck's head with a chainsaw. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> and on the other Batman's hand, finally the tank, had 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 enough. Batman's finally decided that the no kill rule doesn't apply to zombies. If they're dead already, they're not you can't kill you can't kill them again. Oh no, oh no, I don't want any Oh my god, is that Roblox character is the tank? <laughs> That's oddly oh, more God. scary than the oh, tank right, by default. I know these nine nightmares don't sound like fun, but the weapons you have to obliterate them definitely are. Ranging from silly shit to deadly shit to silly deadly shit. There is nothing. At this point, with the amount of mods that they're using, and how long it's been since I've played this game, the line between what is the original game and what is modded is blurring so heavily, I can't even remember what the original game looked like anymore. <laughs> wrong with my AK, that's your oh! Oh, it's like Cursed Halo all over again. Bombs, Molotovs, and Boomer Bile that can get you out of a jam and kill dozens in a single click. Though mine usually look like chickens, white monster, or mollies from CSGO. Doing fire. Just go, bro. Just leave. Alright, I'm mauling mid. Oh, God, pipe bomb. It's a fucking chicken. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a hysterical. Oh, no, I, I agree, Quebec. I think the game by default is great. Oh, but when you played it enough and I you've got some mates who are just there to dick around with, monkey. I, mean, like, the I think it's nice to just have, the you know, guy, the potential of editing, of modding, sorry. Yo, <laughs> oh my god. I am an amphibian. Cowabunga! <laughs> 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 so no no dude, I, am I really that blind? I've only just now noticed that the, the, the doge face isn't edited. I thought the doge face was something they edited in. I've just now noticed that's their flashlight. Call me blind and tucker my biscuit. I am an amphibian. Cowabunga! Oh, there's a smoker. No fucking way! No way! Oh my god. Oh no, Isaac scared. Clark has got Fuck licked and fucking sucked. He's an amphibian. He needs to keep moist. Spat, sorry. Yes. With the ultimate liquid that yeah. I don't like monster at the best of times, but if you drink that shit, you deserve to be eaten by a zombie. In a zombie apocalypse, like duh, Glock 17, go bang bang. But these things are a godsend. No, Glock 17 does not go bang bang. It goes. The shooting a Glock 17 is like you're shooting a freaking BB gun. In fact, you might be better off shooting them with a BB gun because you've got more of a chance of killing them through suffocation by choking on the BBs than you do with actually hitting something with a Glock. Not like I have a thing against Glocks, but um, I'd take my chances with a Glock versus a BB gun any day. <laughs> you won't friendly fire your teammates, which is a gigantic problem, by the way. You do that again, and I will <laughs> bury you alive. <laughs> the mods are top that voice like, line. You mean to tell me that you don't want to kill zombies with a hyper beast karambit alongside Batman carrying a literal bat? Give me a fucking break. All right, this seems like a good second. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yo, I got him with the karambit. Back the oh, another one. Another one. No one's safe. I hear Shrek. I'm getting him with the karambit. Does that sound good to you? I mean, there were a couple things that uh, Back for Blood did do that were kind of innovative that I wish would have been in the original Left 4 Dead games if they were made later. But I would still prefer to play Left 4 Dead too. But the ultimate secondary has to be the Magnum pistol, which is technically a Desert Eagle that I rescanned as a Smith & Wesson 500 bone collector that I mistakenly called a bone crusher like a fucking moron, but whatever. Any secondary with an eight round capacity that can one shot any common infected. Ah yes, the Desert Eagle. Not great for self-defense, but the message you send is the most important part. Because I too like a weapon that tells the person you're shooting at, the person behind you're shooting at, the person behind the wall behind the person behind the person you're shooting at, and the person five miles down the road that you're in proximity and they should run the fuck away. Bone crusher or whatever. 50 BMG, no matter what form it comes in, is nothing to sniff at. I got him with the 500 Magnum. I can't believe we shot Yoshi with a Smith and Wesson 500. Put him down. Put him down. Oh my god. Why did y'all execute Yoshi like that, bro? You couldn't act for It was his time. Nicely. And primaries are totally he had the pestilence. Because even without mods, couldn't let it spread. SMGs, pump shotties, auto shotties, he had rifle, the rifle, mad cow disease. Launchers, machine guns, dog. They've got the sniper rifles from CSGO and Source. What else do you want? <laughs> <laughs> and with mods, anything is possible. Virtually anything. We're talking AA-12, ACR, and M80. Ah, yes. The one thing stronger than the American military. Angry 12-year-olds who spend way too long in Counter-Strike. You bear it from Modern Warfare 2. I don't know how many of you remember 2009, but I'm pretty sure the ACR... Why would you say that? I was just getting over my midlife existential crisis. Russian badger, I was vouching for you. I was vouching for you. Killed more people than car accidents that year. Rangers lead the way. Come here, Larry. Oh, oh you ran into a fire hydrant, you fucking moron. Bill died holding a Modern Warfare 2 ACR. It has such a loud sound. Oh no, Bill. Bill. Rat bastard. Yo. Zoe with the Modern Warfare oh my god. Do you know what I mean? This like little collab between the two games was so fucking and cool. That isn't even that weird. And, and what was even better, what was even better was once you completed the campaign on uh, Left Dead 2 Basic, you could play through the entirety of Left Dead 2. Do 2 with authentic sound, melee, and reload animations. A couple guns from Modern Warfare 2 nice. really isn't that weird. 
Oh, yes. Thanks, Batman, for the friendly fire. I'll shoot that stupid God, that original Doom shotgun reloading sound. Cathartic. Yeah, I hit him backwards. Hell yeah. Those Among Us characters. What is that? Dude, I, th I think we need to go back and play Left 4 Dead 2 at some point. I'm getting an itch. By taking an M79 thumper and turning it into a Pepsi can fire bomb that is entirely propelled by men. <laughs> Yo, I found it. Oh, check it out. It's a Pepsi launcher. Oh my god. Pepsi cans with Mentos. Is Pepsi okay? You know what? To be fair, <laughs> this is the Mentos. only appropriate use for Pepsi. Because you certainly shouldn't be drinking the damn stuff. It. By the way, we were at this pizza place called Bojo's in Colorado with Goose. He asked for a rum and Coke. She asked if rum and Pepsi was okay. No, ew. Had an existential crisis at the table. <laughs> oh, it's Siren Head. Pepsi is oh not good. It gives me headaches. <laughs> ah! Emily, I'll get him on. If you wait, are a Pepsi preferer, I'm sorry. I, I don't know tell you. You're just wrong. Yeah, fuck you, Cheese. Wow. Charles Entertainment Cheese got it. There it is. You found the propane thing. <laughs> There, oh my god. <laughs> Voltorb, of course. Voltorb, you self-destruct. <laughs> it was super effective. Either, because pain pills and adrenaline shots, which gave <laughs> temporary boosts. Like ah, uh, yes. The one thing the that Lewis was remembered for. Earth, with the exception of Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. And I think you can guess what it is. Yes, I found the pills. You know what my pills are? This motherfucker. Yeah, beans? Yo, beans. me and the boys at 3 a.m. looking for beans. <laughs> like to file a complaint i was halfway through dark carnival when i whipped out my beans and a bunch of zombies started pointing and laughing at me and said this <laughs> motherfucker eating beans please i would like to return your game right now why it's is probate. it you just say the word oh, beans and then chat i feel as though this this entire video is a very big disservice to the to left 4 dead 2 like anyone in the modern year who would see this is gonna think man why do these wacky motherfuckers ever want to play left 4 dead 2 this game looks wacky as hell i thought this was a serious zombie game man that just erupts with this motherfucker eating beans <laughs> like immediately. Beans aren't even the end of the shit posting because minute details like your flashlight can be customized, which I would definitely not <laughs> recommend. What am I looking at? <laughs> you lost your schizophrenia medication. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> my nightmare fuel is manifesting in my flashlight. Ugh. James, look at him. <laughs> but once you start equipping Among Us shit, it's the beginning of the end. Like, we made our yeah. health kits into a mini Amogus, <laughs> and there was... <laughs> the way it splined itself behind him. Yeah, at some point, you just have to realize that the more... Eventually, there's a critical mass of mods that you put into the game that are endemic to you realizing that you have reached a critical mass of brain rot. And there is no coming back. No recovering from that. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? I'm uh, uh, Shut the fuck. <laughs> Through my incredibly high tolerance oh, yes. for dipshit Sans. mods, I managed to find Sans. some real gems from Hip Game in the uh, Smash. Sanic as a two-dimensional object. Oh my god, he's so <laughs> thin. <laughs> he looks like he's from Papa Rapper the Rapper. <laughs> oh, he has the text on Come it on, too. Step it up. Oh my god. God, Rochelle. Oh, PS1 Neversoft Spider Man is cursed enough, yeah. but just seeing. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Your leg. You limping? Oh my god, you limping is disgusting. <laughs> like, it's questionable that they're using them. But you know what's worse? You have to think somebody made these. Somebody was brain rotted enough to make these. Using them is bad enough. I uh, just, uh. I guess not. Battletoad is an obvious choice because much like my main man, Coach Gaming, <laughs> not to be confused with regular Coach, uh, he has no neck. How the hell are zombies gonna bite you in the neck when you don't have one? Exactly. Talk but what if I choice. want to get bitten Coach in the neck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this used to be a nice little neighborhood. Good thing I got my main man to back me up, Calvin. Dude, this is turning into like TF2 shit posting source machinimas. Oh my god. Oh. His eyes and his neck are so good. Okay. Note that they've now played this game through like four or five times and they're still having fun.
every time because of the people they're with and the mods they're using. This is why this game is still so relevant. It doesn't matter how many times you play this through. If you are playing with fun people and you are innovating the game in your own way, any game like this can be played through infinite amounts of times if you make the content for it, for it fun. Chat. What do you mean his eyes are good, bro? He is soulless. <laughs> <laughs> Battle Toad woke up this morning and chose violence. There came a point where my shitposting crusade ran so deep and I had so many mods running that I accidentally made my squad the Payday Gang without any animations. <laughs> and I mean any animations. Geronimo, motherfuckers! Down bag, caught in 4K. Oh my god! god. <laughs> no, no, uh, this, this, this holds up. No, this, this this holds up. Whoa, whoa. Guys, I, I, I don't see a difference between this and the original Payday. In fact, this is probably better... This is better made than Payday 3. Two. Three? Two. The new Payday. Yeah, this is still fun better, better function than the newer Payday. What are you doing? This is definitely what sleep paralysis is like. And chat says I'm down bad, bro. I'm not down bad. I'm a Cindy bitch. Bane, I'm missing my the textures. The, the, the new body function. Bane, I didn't download Source, Bane. I'm stuck. Bane, what do you mean I need Gmod? That's how I revive you? What? <laughs> you and I are so different, Badger. What am I this is peak at? left and dead right swing. here. You don't even are they stormtroopers? Oh my god, they made the zombies stormtroopers. And yet, stormtroopers are still somehow a downgrade from the average zombie in this game. Like, I would still be way more afraid of the zombies than I would be the stormtroopers. <laughs> like, you're just slaughtering the entire hallway without moving. I mean, you're moving laterally, but that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah this, this is, this is, this is very much a... Uh, oh my god. The average TF2 Dude, machinima. Like, oh my like, god. what is happening over there? <laughs> Oh, he's busting it down. Yeah, I'll swing on him. <laughs> <laughs> you are so wow. incredible. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just fucking despawned. Because you don't have any animations. You just were like a static pose just flying in the air. Please don't tell me we are dying here, bro. I At least we might. Make... Just jump in, bro. It's just fine. Go. You can go again. No way the entire Payday gang died on the All right, hands up in the chat. How many of you guys got to this level? or the final level of a round, and then you would end up having your entire team die, and it was down to you to make a dash for the exit, and you clinched it by that much. And you saved your team by that much. And everybody suddenly sucked your d cause you saved them all. At the end, Heavenly even showed us what a Sigma male grind set looked like by single-handedly countering a smoker, killing a tank, fending off hundreds of cheeseburgers, and rescuing Noam Chomsky all at the same time. Alright, just say when. I'll start unloading. Oh my god! You know the best part? That wasn't even me. That was my stand. Oh, <laughs> Badger, I'm a Sigma male. I spent 6,000 hours on Left 4 Dead 2. I skipped prom. Sigma Became male my... grind set. Yo, dude, own... same. Same. This is what... Yeah, he knows. He knows. Me and Heavenly, same upbringing, different result. Heavenly knows. I honestly... I, I legitimately believe Heavenly has no social life. The dude wakes up at 5 in the morning, games till 3 at night, sleeps for 2 hours, wakes up, continues again. The dude Empty. ain't seen sunlight in five years. Set, Jimbo. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo, oh, I got him! I got him! I got him! <laughs> Once again, the Sigma male's being brought down by the betas around him. Let's play the game called Jotaro abandons all of his comrades. Just go! Yeah. Just go! Just I'm go! A bit of a Sigma male. I told you. Oh, no! Why? It's why if you ever oh, play God. with uh, Heavenly, no matter what game you it is, you want him on your side. Because you can guarantee, no matter what game it is, he's got five thousand hours in it. He's a, he is a quintessential gamer. Go, Heavenly, go! You got this! Be the savior! Be the chosen one! Just jump! Jump two feet, you fucking idiot! Come on! Get it off! We all got the achievement. Yeah! I told y'all! Sigma male! Damn, you...
Yes, he got 4,000 hours. Turn that mindset to a grind set, brother. And now, after experiencing that level of zombie killing skill, along with some of the dumbest, most brain this dead, great. I love this. shit mods that the workshop has to offer, I can finally say with complete confidence that Among Us is the worst. There is no <laughs> meat. There is no joke. Making a survivor into an Amogus is despicable, and I'm glad he got repeatedly team killed by the- Is, um... Is Amogus old enough now for us to all admit that it was way overhyped and really just a, 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 a great example about how overhyping something because it came out and had a momentary bit of popularity kind of overstates how good something is? Like, it's fine. It was a nice little party game. But I think the only reason people thought it was good was because they all bandwagoned what their favorite streamers were playing. By itself, I don't think it really... If it was on its own merits, I guarantee you it would never have gotten the attention. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to knock a great indie game because it's fun and it was great. But I guarantee you, the only reason it ever got as popular as it did was because your favorite streamers played it and everyone was just bandwagoning it. Doom Slayer. I'm genuinely happy about it. Oh, happy about why it. are you I'm so okay. small? <laughs> get away from... Huh. The accusations of my chat may somehow made it into a Russian Badger video. <sighs> from me. Get away from me. Get away from the German. And my response is two chattels made it, apparently. Why are they Germa? What the f <laughs> Why do you have an MP40? Oh, that's what it's supposed to be. Yo, yo, get him, Mickey, get him. <laughs> get him out of the ground. <laughs> I live, bitch. <laughs> get this uh, bang. Come get this bang energy. Oh, he just crunched it. so fast? <laughs> what is that weapon he's using? Whatever I need to back away from your ass. No, don't do that. This is so terrifying. Who let you grab that? <laughs> Why you got such a fat ass? He's clearly the imposter. Whoa. Okay, you know what? <laughs> oh, <damn. Icky. laughs> Who let you grab that? I'll fucking do it again. You know, Among Us ain't so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's such a fat ass. I fucking hate you. Yeah. <laughs> This has nothing yeah. to do with Left 4 Dead 2. I just want you to know I hate you. Do you know that something's wrong when Isaac Clark with an M1 Garand, <laughs> a chicken, and a 1911 for Modern <laughs> Warfare is the least weird thing? Okay, just gonna say this, uh, actually, the Russian Banner had this wrong. This is the most lore accurate uh, Isaac Clark that ever existed. This is very relevant to the original gameplay, and if you're staking otherwise, you are in fact wrong. ...that you're seeing in this game. Why are you looking at the bean like that? You are just so intimidated. <laughs> He's hungry. Oh, don't worry, young one. I'll retrieve you. I owe you my life. I want you to know that Left 4 Dead 2 is an incredible game on its own without a single Absolutely. mod that I highly recommend you play, even if you don't have friends. Even if you're yeah. just playing with AI, it's still plenty worth it. Yeah, look, Alice, all women are emotional wrecks who will eventually kill you, okay? Oh, shut up, Nick. What? He's out of line, but he's right. <laughs> <laughs> what you saw here today is a completely warped version of the game because my brain just isn't capable of modding responsibly. <laughs> Most players build mods into the game to slightly enhance the experience, and I just can't do that. I was trying to make a version of Left 4 Dead 2 that was built different, and I ended up just making something that was built stupid. I'm just Based. Built alternatively. Constructed alternatively. Constructed you might be cringe, but you are free, my dude. Built stupid. Crafted without the preset parameters. Y'all built different. I'm built incorrectly. I'm just raw in every way. <laughs> I should not exist. I should not exist. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one. If you guys got a comment as to your favorite memory about Left 4 Dead 2, let me know in the comments. Drop by the Twitch channel. Join the cringe lords in my chat here. And I'll see you next time. Peace!